In this video, I'll be talking about how I treated my iron deficiency anemia super quick and effectively, so stick around. So like I said, I'll be talking about how I treated my iron deficiency anemia uh, super quick and effectively. Just before I go ahead and share how I treated my iron deficiency anemia, I just want to give you a general overview of what anemia is. First things first, why is it that we need iron? So we need iron because it helps us to create hemoglobin. So hemoglobin is created by our bone marrow. When we have our bone marrows producing hemoglobin, hemoglobin becomes responsible for carrying oxygen to our bodies. So now imagine if we have enough iron, that means we have enough hemoglobin. And if we have enough hemoglobin, then that means that we have enough oxygen circulating to our organs, so to our hearts, to our kidneys, and um, other vital organs as well. Versus if you don't have enough iron, that means you don't have enough hemoglobin to be able to carry oxygen to your body, all right? So that means that your heart will not be getting enough oxygen, your kidneys, your livers, your hands, your brain will not get enough oxygen. So if your hemoglobin is low, then that's a sign of anemia. Now, what is the normal range of hemoglobin for women? So the normal range of hemoglobin for women, at least in Canada, is between 121 to 151 grams per liter. And for men, it's between 138 to 172 grams per liter. So what is iron deficiency anemia? Iron deficiency anemia is a condition when your blood lacks enough healthy red blood cells or hemoglobin. In other words, you also have low iron in your blood. Some of the iron deficiency anemia symptoms are poor appetite, shortness of breath, dizziness or lightheadedness, headache, and you also feel shortness of breath. Some of the causes are due to blood loss, lack of iron in diet, inability to absorb iron, and pregnancy. Iron deficiency anemia is diagnosed by doing a red blood cell test where the doctor will look for your hemoglobin levels and your iron as well. Some of the complications are super fast heartbeat and heart failure. So what is the treatment for iron deficiency anemia? So the treatment for iron deficiency anemia is just taking iron, all right? So your doctor will prescribe you iron supplements. Once you are diagnosed with iron deficiency anemia, you have to be consistent with the treatment. If you're not taking iron supplements, then you need to make sure that the foods that you are consuming are full and loaded with iron. To be a little bit specific, me being a woman of color, I just do want to point out that um, a lot of black women tend to have low iron all right so low hemoglobin or iron deficiency anemia and one of the reasons is because for some reason um there is really not definite study of why black women happen to have fibroids in general a lot of women of color that do have fibroids tend to have iron deficiency anemia because they lose so much blood right or we lose so much blood that if we're not replenishing the lost iron, then of course we end up becoming anemic, all right? So I got diagnosed with iron deficiency anemia and so the doctor decided to put me on iron pills. And for the longest time, I could never get my iron levels to go up or my hemoglobin to elevate. It was always low. As time went on and then I became a nurse, I said I had to take things into my hands. Now let's get on to how I treated myself. Here's what I did to bring my iron levels up naturally. In this recipe, you will need uh, one beet, a banana, a kiwi, and two dates. This combination of fruits are loaded in iron and vitamin C, which is what you need to actually have your iron absorbed. I'm gonna say one more time, guys, you need vitamin C to be able to absorb the iron. You will also need blackstrap molasses. As you can see, this is an unsulfured blackstrap molasses. Make sure it's organic. 
I know some of you might not like the taste of it, but guys, you got to do what you got to do when it comes to your health. If you want to go the most natural way to bring up your iron level, this is the way to go. This product is truly beneficial. For this recipe, I also use coconut milk. You don't have to if you don't want to, or you can always just use regular milk. So you're going to get your blender. Make sure you have a good blender, guys. Uh, you will add all of your fruits. All right, and you will also go ahead and add your blackstrap molasses. If you don't like blackstrap molasses, you can always take in two tablespoons separately and then make your smoothie. I also added some coconut milk, as you can see, and followed by ice. That is completely optional if you don't want to add ice to it. You are going to go ahead and blend this combination. You're going to blend, 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 and this is how it will look like. The taste itself, it's really not that bad, guys. But one thing you have to be aware of, it really depends on your iron level. If your iron level is extremely low, of course, your doctor will do more than just prescribing iron pills for you. But if you're somebody like me who tends to lose a lot of blood during menses, then you definitely want to take your blackstrap molasses, at least two tablespoons on a daily basis. So this is the iron that I take and the only iron that actually has ever worked for me. It has vitamin B12. It has folic acid, which is amazing for women. It does not make me constipated at all. It has some vitamin C as well, which will help to absorb the iron. These iron pills have helped me a lot. And I usually take it a lot more around my menses just to compensate the lost blood. But if you're somebody that doesn't really like to take pills, so go ahead and try my smoothie. But please do see your doctor before you take this. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.